I had fun doing the puzzles. I don't think I would do a similar project in the future. I don't think I would do this type of project again. I clearly did not, <laughs> I couldn't follow through with it because of time commitments and work and other events happening. Or maybe if I only get one, it would be easier than trying to do it with multiple. I would, I, it, it's hard to justify the cost. Am I looking a little guilty? That's what I'm going for. So I did say last year that I was not going to do the same thing that I did last year, which was buy all the puzzle advent calendars that I saw, but I couldn't help myself. I did a series last year, all but the ones I did then, and they are all still available to purchase, so I'll show you them in just a second. But we are going over all the puzzle advent calendars that I got this year. I have one, two, three, four, five, six new ones. And then I have the three, four, the four that I did last year. And we're just going to go over all of them today. Now, I will say I did learn my lesson a little bit. Last year, I was trying to post every single day in the month of December with these advent calendars, which I did not do the best at. I would give myself like a B. It was a lot of work um, to post every single day, keep up on these, plus my regular videos. It was, it was a lot. Um, plus December's just crazy anyways and some days I would get home really late from like events and then I'm like trying to figure out what to do with my advent calendars. This year I'm not going to do that. I will show you the first day for all of these that way you can at least see the concept and what it looks like. Um, you can determine whether or not you are wanting one of these for Christmas or beforehand. We're trying to post this at least a few days before December 1st so you may be able to get them in time or close to the time that it starts. This is just a way for me to kind of take in the season. These are just super fun. I love this kind of concept. We are going into this. Uh, it's going to be a long one so make sure you have some coffee, hot chocolate, wine, water, whiskey, whatever you choose. It's going to be lengthy because I'm going over all of these advent calendars in this video. <laughs> Let's start off with this thing here. Now, last year I did two Gallison 12 day calendars. A Mickey and Mouse friend, I think it was 24, 25. I wanna say it was the one that had 25 days. And then I did the New York Puzzle Company original advent calendar. I'll talk about the New York Puzzle Company in a little bit when I'm talking about their new one. But the other ones, I kind of had to come up with some type of DIY project at the end of the season because they all got destroyed. <laughs> well, the boxes did. They all have like a punch out situation, so you couldn't really use the boxes again. So what I had done is I got these guys, these little bags, and I filled them with the pieces for each of the individual puzzles and just added them all to this box. So when I open this guy up, it's just super fun because it's just a ton of different little puzzles and so I actually forgot what I had done with these puzzles it took me forever the other day trying to find them I had to actually watch the video to figure out what happened to them I'm not gonna go too much into detail about these puzzles because again I have all of last year's videos to share so I'll leave the end video down below so if you want to check out my full opinion and review about all of them actually when I was doing these ones again the other night I totally forgot what they looked like and so it was really fun because I feel like I just had brand new puzzles again. So it was super cool to take these back out. I'm excited to do them year after year and it just makes me happy to have them. So I ended up getting this one last year, but didn't end up doing it. It's the 12 Days of Catmas by Chronicle Books. And this one, even though it's 12 individual puzzles, it came all in one singular bag. So they're all mixed together. And I just didn't have the mindset last year to do them. I was in my capstone semester for school and I also was taking extra classes and plus doing a ton of stuff for work. I was just like stressed to the max. Doing this something like this was just not in the cards for me. So I did it recently um, and it's again 12 puzzles but they're all mixed together in one box. They advertise it like that's a good thing. I think that was just... I don't know, kind of lazy on their part. Like they could have easily done something to 
make it so it was easier and you can actually do it as an advent calendar. Um, so I do have them all done and they are cute. Like I really love the little puzzles. They do have a paper backing, not my favorite. They are all twos, not my favorite. They are pretty shiny, not my favorite, but the images are cute. They do stick really well together. And it was a fun little thing to do in the evening, but I think as an advent calendar, you could have made them separate somehow. So I did do it, I liked it, but I like others more. So that is my final verdict on this guy here in case you were curious from last year. Finally did it, I liked it, but I wish it was separate puzzles. So, or make it one puzzle. I could have done that too. Like I wouldn't have minded just having it be like a collage puzzle of 12 different puzzles, but you're just doing it all in one sitting. That's fine too. But I think having the, the amount of edges was pretty much half and half, like half edge pieces, half center pieces. And so anyways, let's just move on to the next puzzle. We have this one here I got on Amazon recently. It's from Mind Made. This is a 12 day advent calendar. Let's just open it up and see what it looks like inside. All the pictures are very classic Christmas. You know, we have some ice skates, we have some puppies, we have Santa, we have snowmen. Um, they have pretty images, but they're definitely more of like a classic traditional puzzle. We are just going to open this one. All right. So we have, what's this? There's a little, oh. There's a booklet that has the images of all the puzzles. That is really handy. So you actually have the images besides just the small one on the box. And then there's this paper. Oh, they have a missing piece policy. Good to know. And then we have this. Look how nice that is. See, the 12 Days of Katniss could have done something like this, or even like the punch out situation, like the Galson ones did. But this is super cute. So they are, individual boxes which is really nice um and then we have the pieces inside oh and they don't have plastic bags at all they're just the boxes so be careful but ooh, i like the puzzle pieces i'll show you that in a second but we'll just take out day one and i'll do it in a little bit but i like the concept where it has just little boxes i like this guy and i want to say this is pretty affordable like if so far i'm impressed we'll see how the puzzle is but not too shabby so there is puzzle number one i'll leave these all down below too if you are wanting one of these and you just want to check them out if they're available still um here's the next puzzle we have it's from the brand keep forgetting the brand it's not on the box so i'll leave it down below but this one is different than the other ones because instead of having 12 or 24 individual puzzles this is one where you're growing the puzzle over the course of the 24 days. So there is a total of 1,008 pieces within this puzzle. And each day you get 42 of those pieces. And then throughout the whole season, you're just growing one puzzle, which I love that concept. So this one, I think they had a few different images to choose from. I have the festive fireplace. So that is supposed to be the final puzzle. And I just, I love this concept so much. I think it's cool to just like, maybe if you're not a puzzle person and you want to be able to complete a puzzle, it's nice that they like divided the pieces up into sections that are small and manageable. So let's just go into what this one looks like inside. Looks like it says it has a poster, which it does, a nice giant big poster. Like this is folded in a lot of spaces, so. That is huge. That's a huge poster. So that's nice. Um, and then again, we have individual boxes for the days. And super cute. I love the concept. Very simple. You know, here's day one. We'll just, I'm just going to take a little sneak peek of the pieces, which, oh, okay. I'll show you. I have mixed feelings, but they look nice. I just have mixed feelings about something. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but just so you can see, this is the first one. This is the second one. So significantly smaller. Let's just go to the next set. I'm just pulling out all the day ones of this year's. So 
Next we have two from Eurographics. This is, I think is new for them. Or at least I haven't seen them last year. They had a lot to choose from. I think they had five different versions of their advent calendars. I know they've been back there the whole time, but are they the cutest? Oh my gosh. So I got this new, it's a self heating pad for Mr. Ziggy Man because he's old. His arthritis is definitely getting to him. Um, but we got this self heating pad. He loves it. He loves it. So anyways, so this first one is Christmas cats and it is a 24 day advent calendar and each one is 50 pieces. So here is what it looks like. Here is the classic Christmas. And as you can see, there's little drawers. And then in each one, there are pieces. So I'm just gonna pull out day one and we'll do those together. But, and it has a baggie full of puzzle pieces. So super cute. Oh, okay. And it also looks like it has the image on the box, like in the inside of the box. So you can, I guess, use it for the image. That's cool. Um, it's not the biggest of images, but it's not a very big puzzle, so that's fine. Um, I love this concept because I feel like you can use it year over year. And it looks like the puzzle pieces are actually in Ziplocs. That is very thought out because now you can just put your puzzle pieces back in during after the holiday season and you can still have all your puzzle pieces safe for the next year. That is great. Um, I like that each one of these is ones that you can reuse. You know, it's not just like a one and done situation like the ones from last year. Um, so here is my classic Christmas. I'm just gonna take the puzzle pieces, I'll put the box back. And now let's go into this guy, same concept, where you're having little drawers for the Christmas cats. They also had Christmas dogs, furry animals. So they had like woodland creatures. And I forget the last one. Oh, I think it's like sweets and something. This one just makes me so happy seeing some of the images on the front. All right, so here is my 24 day cat advent calendar. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, and day one is, oh, right at the top. I'm just gonna grab these pieces and oh, it's so bright. And I love that they do have the little image. I'm not gonna use the image, I'm just gonna do them, but that is nice to know. Um, now, the Big Daddies. Last year, Dave got me this one for Christmas, and it is the 24-day advent calendar from New York Puzzle Company. They have since come out with two others. They had one that was Harry Potter, and then the Janet Hill one. I did purchase the Janet Hill. I'm just, I love Harry Potter, but I didn't need an advent calendar. Plus, wasn't it too into their images? But last year, I loved, I loved this so much. It was expensive, but it's so, Nice. Let me show you what it looks like inside. We have individual boxes for the puzzle pieces. I'm sure you guys saw it last year, but say like day one from last year, here it is. It has the image on the front, puzzle pieces in the box, and it's like its own standalone little mini puzzle. It's Each one is 100 pieces, really nice sturdy pieces and puzzles, and I love the images. So. I was so impressed last year. I know it's expensive, but this is something that I feel like is like heirloom. Like you're going to use it year after year after year, and it's just going to be something that, I don't know, me and Dave do together, you know? And so this year, again, they came out with two new ones. And so we have this one here. So here she is. Now, super sad, mine has a little bit of a dent in the corner. Um, but in general, the box is super sturdy. On the back, it does have all of the images there. Um, so a nice variety of just different Christmas scenes. Definitely more like traditional classic Christmas, but with like a smidge of a modern twist to it. Um, let's just open her. Oh, she's pretty. I love this. So they made it so the boxes create a Christmas tree. That is super cute. Let's just take out day one, which is this guy. And it looks like it is a car on a crazy road trip. So that's what the boxes look like. Definitely more expensive, but you can tell like the difference between like this quality and like either baggy of pieces or this little small box. Like they put a lot of thought into it. 
and it just is like well executed. Now that we have all the pieces for all the puzzles, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus I'll show you at least the finished ones of last year's plus the cats one. We have a lot of puzzling to do. Let's just, let's just get into this. All right, so hopefully you can see everything okay. So we have the two Gallison and then we have the one from the Mickey Mouse. Like look at the comparison for size. I have the two New York Puzzle Company right here. And then we have the new ones up here. So let me just show you the pieces so you can see the different quality, I guess. And then we'll go into me doing them real quick to show you what they look like. Hopefully you can see these okay, but here are two examples of the Eurographic pieces. So look pretty nice. They are good size. They have a little bit of a shine, but nothing crazy. And then just a traditional cardboard backing. So piece quality, lovely, just feels like the regular puzzles. Nothing crazy, but I like them. Here's one of the pieces from the 24 day one that I got recently. I'll put the name of the screen for the brand. On the front, it looks completely fine. You know, it has a slight shine, similar to the Euro graphics in size. But on the back, they are numbered, which just for me makes it seem a little bit more cheap, but price is right. So I'm not worried too much. Um, it does have a paper backing, again, not my favorite, but overall decent quality. Here are a couple pieces from the Mind Made puzzle. These ones I love. They are 100% matte, which is lovely. Um, really decent quality and thickness. They have just traditional puzzle shapes. This has a plain backing, nothing paper or numbered, um, but love the quality of this one. Definitely impressed. Here is an example of the New York Puzzle Company piece. Has a little bit of a shine, nothing crazy. Traditional puzzle cuts, really nice thickness and no paper backing or anything there. So love the quality of this one too, but let's just do these. I'm really excited to see what these look like all done. So first I'm gonna put them in order by price point and I'm going off of their regular retail price. You may be able to find these on sale during Black Friday deals or you may be able to get a deal depending on each individual website. There's also a couple which I noticed with this one and let me see this one where they may be marked up because someone bought them all. So I'm going off the price that I paid and you may be able to find that price somewhere on the internet but I think currently on Amazon they're sold by another, a different retailer than when I purchased them so I'm just going to go by the prices that I paid and we can just see the different price points. All right so I think I have everything all laid out. The one down here is the Chronicle Books Katniss Puzzle. This one retails for around $16. The two Gallison ones, depending on where you look, they're between $20 to $24. Sometimes you can find them on sale, so there's those two. This one here is the Christmas Art Puzzle by MindMade. It is 100 pieces, in case you're curious. Oh, I didn't put piece counts, but it's 100 pieces. And this one was $30, but I think it is retailed higher now that it was bought out and I think reselled. So there's that one. This one here is the one that is just the section of the puzzle. And this was $40. We have the two Euro graphics, And these ones, again, it depends on where you look. You can easily find them on sale, or at least like one or two of the Euro graphics one. I think they're at Sam's Club for around $20. So really shop around for these. Regular retail price is $42-ish. So there are these two. This one here is the Mickey Mouse, which looks so dinky compared to everything else. It's so small. Um, but this one, regular retail price is $80, at least at Walmart and Target. And then we have the Big Beasts over here, which are the New York Puzzle Company ones. Completely different price point at $200 or $199, um, but $200 with tax. So 
So now that we have the price points, let me put them in order of value, which I'm considering like the ones that I loved and the price point and the quality and all that such. So I'm putting it in value for like my personal taste so you can see where I think they should stand. Okay, so rearranging, this is what I think are like my least favorite to favorites based on price and what you're getting and the experience. So this is all just personal. Let's just say I loved all of them, but I'm just thinking if you're gonna spend the money, I think there's definitely better bang for your buck depending on the different puzzles. So in last place, Mickey Mouse. This is way too overpriced. If you got it at half price, which I did last year for $40, maybe, but it's still kind of pricey for what you're getting. I mean, this is the smallest in size. You're only getting 40 pieces per night. All the puzzles are the same exact cut. It just seems so poor quality. Like you can't pick up even two pieces without it falling apart. So definitely deserves last place. Um, next, I actually did enjoy the puzzle and I like the finished result, which is the Katniss from Chronicle Books, but not a huge fan that all the puzzle pieces come together. So it just makes it seem lower in quality and it does have a paper backing, not my favorite, but overall cute image, like the design, but the concept just was lacking and deserves not the last spot, but close to it. We have this one, which I did enjoy. I'm thinking for price point, this was around $40. I think that's kind of pricey for a thousand piece puzzle. That's pretty much what you're getting besides it being divided up into boxes. So I think for price point, not the, the best, but I really liked it. I think the concept of it was really cool, but I also saw that Karen Puzzle has a whole video on how to do this yourself. So I think that would be another route to go. Um, we have these ones, which are the Gallison ones. I loved both of them. They're affordable, they're cute. Um, yeah, the boxes you can't reuse, but if you open it from the top, you could. Um, but I didn't do that last year. So uh, take it from my advice where you should open it from the top and then you could reuse it year after year. Or you can just do what I did and just put it in little baggies and use it for the next year. Um, we have these ones which are next. So they are ranking third place. Um, just for price point, I know they are great quality and you're getting like a whole experience thing, but I'm like, for the price point, you could do, I don't know, get a little bit more bang for your buck. These ones are beautiful. They're 100 pieces each. Um, it's definitely like an heirloom product. They're just kind of pricey. I will also mention the new ones for this year are a smidge more shiny. And another reason I'm putting it a little bit lower is that the cuts are all the same from this year and last year. So if you're collecting them, it's something to mention. I mean, it doesn't ruin the experience for me. I'm not going by the grid when I'm doing my puzzles, but I just think they could have made it a little bit different. I did also notice with this one, a lot of the corners have like little, little pickups, you know, like you can tell that it's not laying completely flat. Still good, but I think for the price point, I don't know, it, it needs to be perfect, you know? Um, in second place, we have this one by Mind Made. And this one I really enjoyed. Oh, another reason why this one's towards the bottom, which I understand why it has the numbers on the back, is because it is, I'm assuming, if you were taking it apart, you can tell which day is what, so you can reuse it year after year. So it, I understand the concept. It's just the paper on the back is not my favorite. Um, this one here by My Maid, beautiful image. I love the matte pieces. It's large and charged. It's 100 pieces. So these two are the same piece count. This one was, this one was around $40. This one is a 200. So I know you're getting only 12 for here, but if you want the experience of an advent calendar, and if you don't want to spend $200 like this one, beautiful. Love the image a lot. Love the quality of these pieces. You can pick up the whole thing without it being an issue. And I just, I love it. It was so pretty. So I'm excited to do more from them. And I hope they come out with another one next year, maybe a larger one. That'd be awesome. And then in first place for value and experience, I am putting the Euro graphics. They are the same cut. So that's something to mention. They are the same cut if you're going to have multiple. But I think for the price point, it's good. You can get some 
for as low as $25 right now with the different sales going on or $40 even still I think it's a decent price for what you're getting they're nice little puzzles they have really great quality and I love the different images love the different styles and that they have a bunch of different concepts so that's my overall take on all of these I hope that helps you if you're deciding to get one hope that helps all right so Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I know it was lengthy. I've been filming forever, but hopefully if you are into advent calendars, if you just want to see the different versions that are around, I hope this helped. I'm excited to have these, even the ones that I ranked lower, like I'm still going to do them and enjoy them. Um, but I just wanted to make this video and I like breaking things. I don't know why. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. And I'll see you guys next time.